It's been Asim from Agnimus Soft Research Company. Okay, today uh, I want to describe you and present you that how can we use Cordex data extract of the first version. Uh, especially, you know about this tool that uh, this tool works for uh, the Cordex products. So don't use this uh, product, this tool for other products. Okay. In the first step, you should click this icon for browsing your intent file. I want to, okay, these models, go to, I want to use CNRM data from the Cordex products and in this region, Europe. You know, I download before this model, the CNRM, and especially for pressure uh, surface, uh, uh, I mean that the first, the, this variable pressure. So, uh, you can find the other uh, attributes of these products of Cordex uh, from its name, such as, for example, this product related to historical data for, uh, for the first release, and uh, this uh, uh, GCM tool, uh, GCM model, I mean the CNRM, uh, was uh, 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 downloaded uh, and after um, downscaling with uh, RCA4 model uh, from the SMHI company. So these are downscale, dynamical downscaling with this uh, model, RCA4. Okay, by the way, I click this product, this model from Cordex, and after that, open. Okay, after a while, you can see some of the uh, information about this model, like this. Okay, you know, I want to describe some of uh, peripheral things to better understand about this model, about the attributes, variables, and the other things. You know, in Merge Ultimate Demission, as you, as you see, I, uh, I was downloaded uh, and uploaded here just one file. If you have different file, you can uh, select all of them and uh, upload, uh, browse all of them and see all of them here in this window. But as you see, I was, I has, uh, John, I, I, I have one of them, one file, PSL. Europe and the other things. Okay, so you can see that since it is one file, so the, it can't be, I mean, that merge the other files because I have one file for this model. You know, if you uh, click this icon here, you can see the other variables uh, in this model and in this file. So before going, uh, before to continue the other things for extraction the files, I prefer to show you an another things from Agrimasoft tool. Okay, you can go to Agrimasoft website. After that, you can go to products in free products. You can find NCDF viewer. If you click NCDF viewer. You can find this tool. It is a new. Uh, it is a free tool that you can uh, download it from this web page and like this here. From this web page, you can find everything about this tool. So, why do you want to you need to use it? It is really simple tool for knowing about, for example, what is the variable of that file, the global attributes, the uh, dimensions of that file, and the other things. So, I wanna show you. Uh, about this model CNRM that I uh, I, I uploaded in this uh, Cordex data extractor version. So I want to show you the other format of uh, this tool. Okay, so I click in this, uh, I select it and click open. After a while, you can see different information about this file CNRM model. And uh, especially about this variable. Okay, you know, the, the ne if I want to know about the details of this variable pressure, I click it with this NetCDF, NetCDF viewer. And as I told you before, it is a free uh, tool and it's really applicable for you. So, 
uh, it, uh, really valuable because if you want to know different things about your files, about the dimension and the other things, it's really wonderful for you to understand all of them. Okay, I select PSL. So if I want to know that what is PSL, the abbreviation of PSL, it's really with name of the standard name air pressure at sea level. Wonderful. And the line name, uh, it's sea level pressure. So the units is Pascal. You know, this information couldn't show in this file because it is a tool in this tool because this tool is just for extract the data, not showing for different information about, for example, PSL. If I click here, I can see the attributes like Arlet, uh, Arlan, and the time unlimited dimension of this variable. Okay, but uh, about the information and the other characteristics about PSL, it should be wonderful uh, to use this uh, free tool, NetCDF Viewer. Okay, you can see other things from this uh, file here. And uh, the, another important tips related to Cortex data and Cortex models products is related to these uh, variables, RLAT and as well all lot. You know, for PSL, you can see these dimensions, RLAT, RLAN, uh, with this variable. And the other things uh, about global attributes that you can see different information from the name of the company, such as model ID and the, the model that uh, used Cordex for the uh, download for downscaling, uh, dynamical downscaling uh, for finer resolution and the other things. But we have another panel here, data of uh, one uh, variable. If, uh, for example, if you, your data, your variable uh, has one dimension, you can see the uh, data of that variable here. But since PSL is not, uh, it doesn't have one dimension, so you can uh, you could uh, can see the other things related to these uh, values of this variable here. But since all that and as well all on in Corex uh, products has a one dimension like this, you can see here all that with this name, with this size, and you can see the uh, different cells of uh, this variable here. So it is it has one dimension. And you know, uh, the exact name of our lab, uh, I, I tell you our lab because for abbreviation of this name, the line name is latitude in rotated cool grade. You know, uh, the cortex data has these variables, the R lab and as well all line. You can see as well all line data, longitude in rotated cool grade. Okay, so. We want to use PSL with this uh, dimension and uh, attributes, like you can see here, and with name of air pressure at sea level, sea level pressure. So I call it PSL. So I'm going to go back to here and uh, see, all, and I want to tell you other things. Okay, the first, uh, the time of this file. See in our model for this variable pressure sea level PSL, it started from the first month and the first day of 2005 up to uh, 2005 at the end. I mean, the December, the last day. Okay, with this time 12 a.m. up to 9 p.m. You can see here in dimension for extraction, see other things the start time and as well the end. A time for uh, extract your data. If you want to extract this data with different uh, time, I mean that between this uh, period, you can click a calendar and see this uh, calendar panel and change it. The day and as well the hour, if you want to change the things that you want, the hour the, and the others. But I prefer to extract the whole file. Uh, I started from the first uh, month of uh, 2005 up to the end date of uh, day of 
December. Okay, for an example, I want to extract a point from this, uh, for this latitude. And, for example, for longitude, I prefer to select 11.5. It is my station. And if I want to show you uh, the boundaries and the area in a map, I can click it. Uh, but before, it is better to, to, to tell you other things. You know, as you know, we have three important and fundamental variables in all the models. The first one is precipitation, maximum temperature, and minimum temperature. If your file uh, doesn't include these variables, like my file, uh, pressure sea level, so I uh, should click none. And after that, I should write it here, the exact uh, abbreviation name. I mean that PSL. You can find it from your the name of your file or uh, see this variable, this file with this tool, NCDF viewer, and see the abbreviation name and the other, I mean the uh, information about this file uh, like this. Okay, so you should write here the abbreviation, the exact name in the file that you downloaded from a Corvex website. Okay, everything is finished, but before, if you want to prefer to see your, I mean, that area of that uh, global map, you can click this one, get bound in map, and you can see uh, the area of this map. It is the whole area from the Europe uh, I mean that the, the Cordex product. You know, if you want to know further than this, I want to show you the other things about this uh, tool. You know, uh, if you go to product in Agrimasoft and this free tool and click rotated Cordex, you can find precious, I mean, the valuable tips related to Cordex domain, and you can find another information and a really wonderful uh, free tool here for convert the RLED and the RLAN and the other things, other rotated and non-rotated uh, uh, information of the Cordex. I put here some of the information about Cordex NetCD files and you can find here Cordex domain. If you click it Cordex domain, you can, uh, follow, you can go to domain Cordex. Okay, in this here, uh, domains, you can see all the information about different domains, around uh, 14 domains, and my example is related to Europe, like this here. If you want to use other models from region 1, South America, up to the 14 region, South East Asia, you can use all of them with this tool, Cordex Data Extractor. And about the region for Europe, you can see here different, I mean that uh, rotated pole, TLS, and the other points of your grid, for example, um, this one, BLS, below left, bottom left corner, like if I want to show you in the map, I'm gonna like this one, I like this, for example, I want to zoom in and see to you. This is BL, BLS, like this one, and uh, if you see this, follow this uh, number here, I can see that Langet, uh, latitude 22.31, and you can see in the Cordex uh, website that uh, it should be limited up to this data for latitude and as well for longitude and also this tool is exactly show that for this map and you can see like this one and as well like this that in for longitude you can see minus 8.96 it is an example here not a really exact because i don't want to go to uh, the point the corner point but uh, for some uh, I mean that uh, better clarification I prefer to show you. Okay, how, however, for extraction after that, you can click extract. 
and after extract you need uh, some time because your data in I mean that need more time for extraction but it's really wonderful tool uh, because there isn't any similar uh, simple and user into a friendly interface for use this uh, tool for extracting your cortex data you need uh, a little time to extract your data and after that see in this table the table of data and you can see every three hours your data is extraction by for a pleasure C, pressure C level in Pascal unit like this one and it's finished so if you want to extract your uh, correct data I inform you that this tool is gonna be good for you to use and it is finished I can uh, I could extract my data in really wonderful way and very easy okay uh, I want to invite you to subscribe our YouTube channel and as well follow our website for knowing about uh, I mean that Agrimasoft Agrimasoft website and see different tools here and subscribe to, uh, to our YouTube channel, Agnes of YouTube channel. Okay, so at the end, I hope this tool is gonna be good and applicable for you. And have a nice day. Bye bye.